Over the past two weeks, we've been driving a tuk-tuk around the island of Sri Lanka competing in something called the tuk-tuk tournament. This tournament aims to get you into the Sri Lankan culture and make you do things you would never do otherwise. So the locals just invited us on their boat and now they're driving us on this river. In the U.S., stuff like this would never happen. Before hearing about this tournament, we had never really heard much about Sri Lanka. With an economic crisis and fuel shortages happening in early 2022, we were not sure what this tiny island had in store for us later in the year, but it absolutely blew every expectation out of the water. from the beautiful country of Sri Lanka. We are on day 10 of our tuk-tuk tournament where we are driving a tuk-tuk around Sri Lanka for two weeks and collecting a whole bunch of gems. And today is the end of it. We don't have a whole lot going on today challenge-wise, but yeah. I guess we're gonna tell you guys if Sri Lanka is really worth visiting. Yeah, we. I mean, I would think we would have a pretty good opinion on it by now. We've been in Sri Lanka for nearly three weeks now. We've and driven. We've We've driven all over the island. We've done almost, like, we've done so much on the island. Met so many locals, done so many things to get us out of our comfort zone. And I think we would have a really good testament of whether it is safe or yeah. not. So kind of today we're gonna go through and show you guys what it is like being in Sri Lanka yep. in 2022, because I think it is way different than it was before the pandemic, before a lot of different things happen, so. Yep. And We'll make sure to cover the, the gas issues and... The economic crisis. The economic crisis, yeah. In Sri Lanka, the culture has been super accepting of anything that we do and want to do. They're just so happy to have us here. So we're about to just walk into a school to say hi to the kids. So we stopped in and said hi to the kids. Usually you can do a little bit more with them, but um, the teacher told us that the principal wasn't there today. So yeah, but the, still, what other country can you literally just walk into a school and say hi to all the kids and talk to them? They were actually writing English down in their little notebooks. So we talked to them about that for a little bit. It's just insane. But we do have to head out now because we have to get to our final location tonight. So we're gonna start driving the tuk tuk. Yes. We're ready to tear ass, baby. Yeah. This is a tear tore ass too much. That's the strength of Rafi Ketchapur. <laughs> When we first heard about the Tuk Tuk tournament and decided that we were going to come to Sri Lanka, we were so excited and I think a little bit nervous at the same time because we really, as Americans, had never heard much about Sri Lanka and what we had heard wasn't very good. Fast forward a few months later and the economy crashed, they overthrew their government, they had no gas and so our perceptions of Sri Lanka were kind of going down and we weren't quite sure what we were going to get into when we got here. So uh, even though everyone told us that we shouldn't go to Sri Lanka, it's not safe, we decided to jump on our plane from Istanbul to Colombo, and we showed up to Sri Lanka with no expectations, really. Well, I was driving down the road and I got a really nice breeze through my hair. <laughs> Ends up being that our top is coming off. But listen, I'm all about taking the tops off, however, when you're going 50 kilometers, it's a little scary, Wait, you know? You're speeding? I'm going just, just a little bit over, just a little bit over. Seems like whether it's one thing or another, there is always something happening to one of our tuk tuks. We gotta find a mechanic shop, but back to the story. Let's do it, Let's do it. Thank you. 
<laughs> so after landing in Colombo, we got on a public bus, which I think is the first experience we had with the absolute chaos that is here in Sri Lanka, but in the best way possible. It was controlled chaos in the same way as it was just an awesome experience. And honestly, that was our first taste of what Sri Lanka was gonna be like, and we loved it. off a 10 hour bus ride to Arunan Bay. We thought that Sri Lanka was nothing but smoothie bowls, surfing, and all touristy stuff, but that was a false reality of what Sri Lanka really is, because once you leave the small touristy surf towns, you really get to experience what it is living with the locals. After leaving Arugan Bay, we headed back to Colombo so that we could start our two week tuk tuk tournament where that we've just been doing for the past two weeks, driving our tuk tuk around. And this is when it really started that we realized just how absolutely amazing the people are here in Sri Lanka. We've said it a million times, but this tournament really just like takes you, plops you down into the middle of the chaos in Sri Lanka. and. That is seriously what makes it so amazing. And the people here are absolutely the nicest people we've ever met in our lives. It's absolutely crazy, but this is really the start of where we learn just how awesome the people are here and how helpful and smiley and kind they are. Like, seriously, we could not have asked for a better experience here with the locals. The first day we already experienced how kind people were, but there was just one thing that we were still uncertain of, and that was the gas situation here. As tourists, we found it pretty easy to get gas, but right now locals have a QR code and they have a certain amount of liters that they can get every week, and once you're out of liters, that's it. Uh, yeah, another thing that we have to show them is a a fuel, like a fuel sheet from the tourism board that allows us tourists to get gas. It's always the unexpected here that ends up being the best. <laughs> about the whole gas situation is that you would think that the locals would kind of get angry that the tourists can come and get as much gas as they need but the whole thing is is that tourists are coming and bringing money to their country which is essential to them right now so pretty much any local that you talk to you'll walk up to them and they'll say thank you for coming to Sri Lanka or like we hope you have a great time or anything they want us here and so having those little like discrepancies between locals and tourists is a good thing to like promote their economy and stuff so yeah with that said we are stopping off for a quick lunch and this restaurant owner looks pretty happy that we're here hey guys <laughs> lunch came already ate it we were starving so about to, about to hop back in the tuk tuk we have an hour 15 left to get to the finish line we just met Deshaun, his family owns this restaurant, and actually, uh, he's a dual citizen uh, with the United States and works as a financial advisor in Maryland. So, uh, if you are ever coming from the south back up to Colombo, you gotta stop at Rob Roy Beach Restaurant and support his family. Um, they're very kind people, and the food was actually super good, so, yeah. right now to kind of get it ready to give back since we're only about five minutes away from our hotel but we've told you guys a lot of the amazing things there are about Sri Lanka and why you should come but I think it's also good to note that it's not all amazing yeah there in some of the big touristy cities there's people that'll come and haggle you for money and they'll try to scam you so I mean it's typical travel stuff you need to look out for right and I think I would say out in the villages, 
1000% safe. There is not one time I felt unsafe at all. Yep. But obviously in this big cities, you have to be careful about being out at dark by yourself. Like that's just pretty much common traveler practice, but it still holds true even in a place like this. Yeah. We now have to get back to our tuk-tuk so we can get in to cross the finish line. We're about to pull into the Red Bull finish line. Woo -woo! 400 meters away. It's been an epic two weeks. seriously has some of the most beautiful places you could see. The what? landscapes are amazing, the people are amazing. Yeah. I mean, if you're ever thinking of coming here. Definitely do it. One minute you're on the ocean, next minute you're up in the mountains. It's crazy. The people are so genuine, so nice. Sri Lanka. Go ahead. Sri Lanka is definitely taking the number one spot of our all-time favorite country. For sure, for sure. And not only because we got bling here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think you guys should book your um, flight to Sri Lanka now, because it's awesome. Next time we see you, we'll be in a different country, doing an amazing trip that we'll tell you about later. All right. See you next time.